Hi everyone, my name is Kim Chitwood. I am the Next Steps Pastor at Crossbridge Community Church in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and this is Next Steps with Kim. Last week, we talked about um, giving and about making lists and how I may make a list or have you make a list and then go out and buy gifts. But what if we put a spin on it instead of worrying about what I'm giving or you're giving or who's giving, we ask God, what, Jesus, what do you want for Christmas? After all, it is his birthday. This week, we're going to continue talking about giving I got thinking about when I was a child and I really enjoyed gift giving. I believe it's because children keep it simple. They give simply. And anyone who has a gift of um, giving generously or gift giving, they tend to give simply. And I don't mean they don't put thought into it. Actually, they just don't complicate it. My dad is one of those. He is a gift giver. He has the gift of giving generously. And he will do this. He will um, kind of listen in on what people need or what they want. And he keeps a card in his wallet. Maybe he uses his phone now. But he'll write down what he observes. What does someone want? What do, what do they want for Christmas? What do they want for their birthday? Or just what do they need different times of the year? And he does it simply. He, he sees a need or he sees a want, he goes and buys it, and he gives it. And that's all there is to it. And it all comes through because of love, and it's natural for him. But sometimes we as adults don't keep it simple. I've struggled with keeping giving simple, and here's why. I worry about it. Or I question a lot. Um, am I getting the right thing? Is this person, does this person really want this? Do they already have a ton of it? I was in um, sitting in class and it was Christmas time and the teacher gathered us around because it was time for us to give the teacher our gifts for Christmas. Well, he opened up several mugs and he opened up several batches of probably pretty cheap candy and homemade cards and things like that. And then came mine. I remember getting this feeling inside of this little bit of worry. What if he doesn't like what he opens? And so he, he grabbed my gift. He opened it up. He pulled the, the top of the box off. And he pulled out a few pairs of nicely, nice men's dress socks. Um, my sweet mom was the one that always bought the gifts for the teachers, so I, I can't take credit for it. But I remember the, the whole classroom erupted in laughter. And I got super red in the face. I was so embarrassed. And I thought, I never want to give a teacher or anyone a gift again. My gift giving went at, at that point from simple to complicated. Hindsight, I look back now, I believe he loved those socks and he actually used them. And uh, all those mugs, who knows? But I remember thinking at that point, what am I going to do? How am I going to give someone a gift? What if they don't like it? What if it's something silly and they laugh? And it just got me worrying about gift giving. So it went from simple to complicated. Then if we put aside that type of gift giving... That's the type that I want to give this to you because I, I care about you, because you're in my life, a birthday gift, a Christmas gift, or maybe just because gift. And, and I do it because you're important to me. So put that kind of giving aside. There's another type of giving that is giving to someone who has a need. And we hear a lot about that. We read about it in the Bible. What how do we keep that simple? In the Bible, we read, it is better to give than receive. It's more blessed to give than receive. In the book of Acts, Luke writes about this. And it's found in Acts chapter 20, verse 35. And here's what it says. Luke says, in everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than receive. So that's where we find it. What I loved about reading it this time is there was five simple words that will, I think, help us keep giving 
to those in need or those who are weak, keep it simple. It says, we must help the weak. We must help the weak. Five simple words. It's actually something we're called to do. If you're a Christ follower, there's not a question. But the problem is, just like the other type of gift giving, we can overcomplicate it. We can put a lot of thoughts and worries and concerns in our minds, um, even with giving to those in need. This time of year, you probably notice there's a lot more um, opportunity to give to those in need, and a lot more people are, are reaching out, reaching into their pockets and giving to those that may, may have a need, those who are weak. But this is how we complicate it. We see a need, we see someone with a need, and we have a few things that start running through our mind, just like the worry, oh, are they going to like the gift? But this one is a little bit different. Um, our worry might be, do I have enough in my budget? And then the last way that we overcomplicate it is we tend to be the judge of whether someone is weak or not if someone is in need or not. We see someone and we might even look on social media and go, oh, well, I think that's a new shirt they have or or, wow, I think that they're going out to eat again. I don't really think they have a need. But you know what, again, the word weak is not for us to, to define and giving needs to happen. He says, we must help the weak. So we're gonna put a spin on Christmas. Here's what I want us to do. Let's give simply. Um, When it comes to those who you care about, that are around you, that are kind of like your core people that you're going to give a gift to for the holidays, stop overcomplicating it. Find something that you think they're going to like and give it. I thought of you. I love you. Here's a gift. Simple. Simply give. And then if you see a need, if you see a need, Go meet that need, buy what you need, get a gift card, get money, whatever you need to do, and just give that person that gift. Thanks again for joining me. This has been Next Steps with Kim.